Today is a pretty exciting day because today we are at Watches and Wonders 2023 and we just visited Tudor. Now the pinnacle release from Tudor, in my opinion, is the Tudor Black Bay 54. Now the reason that this is a pinnacle release to me is the kind of trend over the last year in the watch industry is everyone going for smaller watches, especially men with slimmer wrists, and I kind of fall into that category. I've got 6.5 inch wrists. Now this new Tudor Black Bay comes in at 37 millimeters in diameter. They come in two variants. You have a rubber strap and you also have the new bracelet option. Now the bracelet option looks absolutely phenomenal on the wrist, but my personal preference here would have to be the rubber. It's interesting, when I actually put this watch on the wrist, when I actually wore it, it didn't feel as small as 37 millimeters. I would actually push it up to around about that 38 mark and it fit pretty well, especially seeing as I have 6.5 inch wrists. I just thought it would have worn slightly too small for me, but it didn't seem to do that. Big draw to this model for me was actually the profile of the case. Now you'll realize that this is a lot slimmer than the Black Bay 58 or the Black Bay Heritage models. And also if you look at the crown, they've upgraded it and it looks absolutely beautiful. This watch is waterproof to 200 meters and has a 60 minute unidirectional bezel in stainless steel with an aluminium insert. The dial of this model is black and domed, but it seems a little bit lighter than the previous version of the Black Bay Heritage or the Black Bay 58. It's pretty, pretty attractive. It's almost satin brushed. The crystal on this model is domed sapphire crystal and it gives it a really nice vintage aesthetic. The movement on this model is the manufacturer caliber MT5400 and this is of course COSC certified. It's a self-winding mechanical movement with a bi-directional rotor system. It has a power reserve of approximately 70 hours, which is pretty phenomenal for the money you're paying. Another pretty attractive feature of this model is the Tudor T-Fit clasp, which is fitted to the bracelet. It has micro adjustments and it's absolutely stunning. Now, when I was in this meeting with Tudor, an interesting point that they mentioned was their new in-house factory. And they seem to be going down the route of Metas certification or COSC certification. And for the money you pay for a Tudor heritage, model. It's around about the £3,000 mark. That is pretty phenomenal. First kind of thoughts on the new Black Bay 54. It's a pretty incredible model and I think it's the pinnacle of Tudor's releases this year. But another one that caught my eye was the GMT Polar Dial. Listen, I wish that I could talk to you a bit more in depth about this watch, but we just don't have the time. Watches and Wonders is just absolutely mental. We've got so many different appointments and so many cool watches to see. If you want to see a full sort of in-depth review of this watch, please let me know in the comments and please hit that subscribe button.